you're thinking about a move to Portland, Oregon, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video. Today, we're talking about Northwest Heights. Now, this is a neighborhood in Northwest Portland, and I gotta tell you what, I'm excited to go over this neighborhood. I really love this little section. I mean, look at just one of the little views right here, and one of the main things about this neighborhood that attract people are the gorgeous homes, the views of nature, and the close proximity to Portland. If you're thinking about a move to say a place like Lake Oswego, Westland, but you wanna be a lot closer to Portland, well, this neighborhood could be for you. I'm Aaron Cullen, I'm a local real estate agent right here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here today with my wife, Brianna Cullen, and today we're exploring the neighborhood of Northwest Heights. Now, we're in Forest Heights right now, and this neighborhood is really, really cool. I'm really excited to share this with you guys, so let's get right into it. Let's jump off and talk about the location. Like, where are we? Yeah, let's walk up this hill a little bit, and you might hear us huffing and puffing because we are in the hills, which is what gives this area such beautiful views. Mm -hmm. And I think when a lot of people think about Portland neighborhoods, if you've been here as a tourist and you've spent a lot of time in the city, in the Pearl, or in some of the neighborhoods in the Northeast and Southeast, this neighborhood would feel very different to you because it's just west of the city, but it's kind of on the other slope of the hills and it feels very quiet, very full of nature, open sky. Um, it, it just feels very different than I think some of the inner parts of Portland. The yeah. houses are a lot bigger in this area than in a lot of the flatter parts of Portland, like in the mm -hmm. Southeast and um, the Northeast. These are, you know, more two-story homes, uh, newer housing stock, I would say, uh, and very hilly, which I like. I, it gives you um, just a very different geographic feeling because a lot of these houses are nestled into the side of hills. That's one of the really cool things about the Northwest Heights is the hilliness and the views that you're gonna get from that. You get more of a feeling of being secluded and that's one of the amazing location perks about this community is you're literally so close to the Pearl, Knob Hill, all the shopping, the restaurants, you know, downtown Portland. You have access, you're like five to 10 minutes, depending on where you are in the neighborhood, to all those amenities, which is really amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. I think one of the things about Portland in general that we love and that we talk about a lot is that it has the small town feel with big city amenities. Mm -hmm. And an area like this is like that amplified because yeah. it feels very quiet, it feels very, um, like you know your neighbors, it feels very tight knit in this area and really a lot of access to nature and trails and walking, but the city and everything about like the restaurants, the shops, the, the walkable areas are like just on the other side of the hill. And so that brings us to talk about one of the, the next aspects about this neighborhood. It's completely almost all residential. So that's something just to be aware of because it's such a close proximity to all the great shops of Portland there's really no need to have a bunch of different community shopping areas, like all right in here in, in this neighborhood. So it's very residential. There's actually one little commercial space. They have a great local coffee shop, a pizza place, a sandwich shop, and they have a natural food market. But if you're looking for the walkability that a lot of other great Portland neighborhoods have, that's not this particular neighborhood. It's more walkable in terms of seeing your neighbors and getting out on the trails. It's not like walk to coffee, walkable. That's right. But you are gonna be a very, you still might be able to walk to coffee, depending where it is and what your viewpoint is on walking. <laughs> but like here we are walking up this hill. I mean, look at the this. The houses up here are so awesome. Just a little pan around me. We're almost at the top of this hill. As you can see a little bit, the sliver here right behind this house it's kind of hard to see but there you go so like everywhere you look around these houses like the the front side you might not be able to tell it looks like a two-story house but it's probably another story down below it the whole back side is going to have these amazing full sky views that's one of the amazing things about these homes i bet it's so cool at night because i love a night view where everything's all lit up so if you're looking for that nice quiet 
upscale neighborhood with walkable sidewalks and great schools, but you're only five, 10 minutes from all the amazing restaurants and shopping that downtown has to offer, this should be on your list. Okay, so you said upscale, honey. So let's talk a little bit about that. Wow, this right. house is so cool. Look at this house behind us. All right, so let's talk about housing. What does that cost? What can you expect? I mean, you can see this very contemporary new build right here behind us. Most of the homes are newer, and by newer I mean built in the 90s and 2000s on up. Most of the architecture here is gonna have some kind of Northwest feel to it or more suburban type of homes, but then you also get these contemporary builds here like right behind us. But something like this is gonna be over $2 million. Those are gonna kind of be more of the exception to this neighborhood of Forest Heights. But in general, you're gonna kind of be had a bottom price of the high eights to low nines, and you're gonna go on up uh, from there into the million dollar range. But the average inventory gonna be in that really 1.1 to $1.5 million price point. That's where you're gonna see the most homes. But again, you can get a home in the high eights, low nines, on up from there. So that's kind of what you can expect to see. Okay, um, let's cross the street and get back into the sun. <laughs> so let's get over onto the sunny side of the street. It is so beautiful today. You can see blue sky, and I feel like that brings us to maybe, let's just talk about the weather in general. Last thing to talk about with the housing I just want to bring up oh, are the amazing views that you're going to get. That's another one of the reasons my wife was just mentioning the sun. She wants to get back into the sun because it is cold today. We're in the winter. It's like 36 degrees out right now. But we have these wide open, clear, blue sunny skies, which is great. And that's one of the big benefits to this neighborhood and the homes. The majority of them are going to have some sort of views. I love views. I think views are like one of my we we don't have a huge view from our house and it's one thing that I think I miss from the house we lived in before this so I love a long view but I think one thing I'm noticing as we walk around here that you're trading is a really functional yard so these lots are fairly yes. small and they are the houses are somewhat close together and they're on us on slopes so a lot of these houses might have a deck in lieu of a yard the front yards aren't really something that you'd use for anything. So it just be something, you know, if that's important to you, there are houses in here for sure that have um, great yards, but you'd have to be selective and, and be clear on what you're looking for. That's right. You're not gonna have this big, huge yard. You're more focused on being up in the hills. You're gonna have that smaller yard if it has a yard. So that's something definitely to be specific about. If you have dogs and you need some little grassy or area kids. or kids, a lot of them will have a little bit of that, but not all of them. And like, I would say compared to some of the neighborhoods in Lake Oswego or Westland or even other parts of Portland, these houses are fairly close together. And you know, you really see your neighbor's homes versus some other forested areas where you don't necessarily see as many houses around you. Yeah, and you're not seeing a ton of houses because you can see these streets are very curved. You're following the curvature of the hills here. So you're only gonna see a couple of your close by neighbors for the most part but the lots are a little closer together, but they are these big homes. They're kind of usually in the high 2,000 square feet to 3,000 square feet yeah, like, and, and go up from there. Cool. Most of them are gonna be typically four bed, somewhere in that range. Yeah, like that house right behind me. Yeah. So there definitely are some things you're, you're giving up, but you're getting some things definitely in return. Compared to other parts of Portland, people will probably move into this area in some parts to like raise a family and are here while their kids are in school. Aaron mentioned that there are great schools associated with this this area, this neighborhood. And, and there's a lot of, you can see just like pride of ownership, places are well maintained. I get the impression that people probably live in these homes for you know a decade. Yeah, people are definitely staying here longer. And so that's why if you go online, you're not gonna see a ton of homes on the market right now. If you're looking, you like this area, go ahead and reach out to me. Again, my information's right down there below. Love to talk about your housing needs in a little bit more detail. I recently had some clients that bought a house right off the skyline, which cuts right through the edge here of the Heights area. And they absolutely loved it. That was like their dream home. Yeah, that's a really cool area. That's the thing is if you're interested in something like this, but you have questions or there's this doesn't quite feel right, definitely reach out because 
each neighborhood around here has its own feeling. Over in Skyline, it's much more private, forested. You're right butting up against Forest Park, which is a huge city park with a network of hiking trails and you know you're you're really out in nature there and yeah. then off of skyline there are just some really cool areas and in that same in that same neighborhood is one of our favorite local nurseries cornell farm and cafe yes love that cafe such a special place yeah, yeah we've spent many uh lunches or coffees there just kind of ooing and eyeing at the different plants and thinking of what we could do with those plants and around our house and our redoing our lawn. So that's definitely a go-to nursery spot or a great little breakfast lunch spot uh, for this area. You know, and it's not technically a part of this neighborhood, but you know, those are all the amenities you have like around from, from this neighborhood. Yeah. That's why I think this location is really cool. I could definitely see us possibly living here, you know, if we didn't live where we live. Yeah, I totally agree because you have that balance of amenities. And this is also being in the Northwest in this area, you know, being on the west side of the river and you're closer to things like the zoo, Forest Park, mm -hmm. and then to the suburbs on the west side like Beaverton and Hillsboro, where big employers like Nike and Intel are on this side of town. And so again, you have that best of both worlds. Also being on the west side, you are closer to the beach. <laughs> yes, that is true. Which is a huge perk <laughs> for us. Yeah, and just one of the benefits of this neighborhood as well, and what my, attracted my clients to this area, they were moved here from out of state, from the Bay Area, was the access to all the trails. And that is one of the huge benefits to this area. If you like to hike, if you like to get into nature and go to parks, Forest Park, like Brianna said, butts up right against borders, forest heights. So you're gonna have access to walking trails from here. Forest Park is the largest city park in the entire US for any city. Oh, that's a hawk. Yeah. This neighborhood feels so safe yes. and well taken care of and clean. And, you know, I think for people that have any concern about like, what's it like in Portland? They're hearing a lot about what it's like downtown or the homeless. Mm -hmm. I will say, first of all, that certainly the city needs to keep working towards solutions for our homeless population here. But in this neighborhood particularly, it feels incredibly safe. Yes, yeah, you're not gonna find any any homeless, no camps, nothing like that in, in, in this neighborhood. Anywhere near this part of town. At all. I mean, it's so well maintained and manicured, as you can see. And just to talk about the crime stats, I just looked them up and there was literally one burglary all of last year in the last 12 months, one burglary in the whole neighborhood and four uh, car break-in incidents for a whole year. And you know, that is a vast difference of comparison to just down the hill to like being in the city of Portland. I would definitely live here. I mean, I love the fact that they have these nice newer sidewalks, great places for kids to ride their bikes. Yeah, I kind of wish we were out here like on a weekend so that we could see the, you know, families and, and kids and people walking their dogs. We're here yeah. midday on a Wednesday. And so you don't see a lot of people out, but you can tell it just has a very neighborhood feel. This has been the Forest Heights neighborhood tour. I'm a local real estate agent. So if you guys are thinking about moving here, go ahead and reach out and give me a call. I'd love to help you. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.